guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my updated 2014 foundation routine. Yay! So I know a lot of people have been asking me this question lately so I figured I would go ahead and film it. Um, so obviously I'm not wearing any makeup right now because I'm going to be showing you how I do my foundation and all the brushes I use, all the products I use, I'm going to be showing you. Um, my hair. I slept with it wet last night in a clip and I took the clip down this morning and this is what I ended up with so I figured oh okay that's cool because it looks like I styled my hair this morning so yeah um, so yeah let's go ahead and get right into it the first thing I'm gonna do is clip my bangs back because we do not want to get any any product in there okay so to start um, I already washed my face with my acne free cleansing system so I already did that so I got all of the morning um, crap off my face and then the second thing I do is I moisturize my lips for the day because I am going to be applying some lip products today so obviously I want my lips to be smooth for that and for that I am using this bliss tax medicated mint lip balm it just looks like that got this for a dollar at Dollar General so I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that in on my lips okay Oh, I love this stuff. It is so cooling because it's like mint, so it has like that cooling effect, and it's just like, oh, I love it. Feels so good. So usually the next thing that I do is I start to prime my face and then apply my foundation. But I think today, because it is turning into fall here, so the weather's getting a lot more brisk and it's starting to dry out my skin a lot more. So I think instead of using like a primer, I think I'm just gonna put on some moisturizer and then um, my regular. Um, maybe a little bit of primer and then my regular routine. So for the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be applying my moisturizer, which is the Garnier Moisture Rescue uh, uh, Moisturizer, which just looks like that. Sorry, I am all like twisted up today. I just had, I have a really busy day today. I'm just going to be mixing my Garnier Moisturizer and I'm going to be mixing that with my Bosha Beauty Oil as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of those two, mix it together and then spread it in on my face. I just take a little bit of that. Give it like three drops. Rub it in all over my face. Okay, so that is what my uh, moisturizer looks like all spread in. Oh, that feels so good. Like this stuff's amazing. You guys have to pick this up. I think it ranges between like $7 or something. I think I've seen it at Dollar General for that price. So those are the two things that I use on my face first, um, just to kind of freshen up my face and get it ready. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be using an eye cream. And this one is by Origins, and I love Origins products. Like, oh my gosh, they're absolutely amazing. So I am going to be using an eye cream because I didn't, so I didn't go to bed until maybe like 2, 3 a.m. So I've only, I'm only working off like six hours of sleep right now, and I need to like wake myself up. And I'm going to be using the Origins Refreshing Eye Cream, and I'm just going to be using that a little bit underneath my eyes just to kind of freshen them up and you know, just kind of make myself look awake for the day because I'm just like, I'm just not. So it just looks like that and I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that and putting it underneath my eyes. Okay, so that is all of my moisturizers and stuff already on. Again, I don't do this every single time. I'm only doing it because it is really, really cold out today and my skin is just like suffering. So that's mainly the stuff I use in the fall slash winter time. And then the rest of the stuff I'm going to show you, I use all year round because I love it. So next, I'm going to put on just a little bit of primer. I don't need much because I already applied moisturizers and things like that. But I am going to go ahead and put on a little bit of primer. And the primer that I'm going to be using is like one of my all time favorites and that is the elf mineral face primer this is only six bucks and it's elf so obviously it's amazing so it just looks like that this is like oh my gosh I love this stuff so so much and a lot of people have been asking me to do an updated foundation routine because a lot of people have been noticing that my skin's been a lot more flawless lately so yeah that is kind of why I'm doing this and I don't really have anything too too different from my past ones just a couple of the brushes are different and things like that so I just figured I would go ahead and show you so I'm just gonna use the tiniest amount like that much and I'm just gonna rub it in on my face just all over not even being neat about it I'm just like whoop, just being sloppy as hell 
There we go. So I just rubbed that in all over my face so we have a nice smooth surface for our concealer and our foundation. So the next thing that I use is my concealer. And I am the, like, I think I, I swear, I'm like the only guru who puts concealer on before foundation. I don't understand the whole putting on concealer after the foundation thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I don't really, I don't get it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my six color concealer and corrector palette by BH Cosmetics. And this is in the shade light. And I'm going to be taking this yellowy color right here. And I'm going to be putting that underneath my eyes just to brighten up my eye area a little bit. Um, make it seem more awake. If you guys have seen my um, how much does my face cost tag, then you've already seen my foundation routine, but a lot of people wanted a separate video on it so you know it's like easier to find. Um, so yeah, I look fucking ridiculous, but I'm just going to simply rub that in all over my eye area, bringing it down a little bit as well in like a triangle formation. And this just really brightens up your eyes and makes your eyes look super awake. Okay, so that is what that does. It works really well. Like, my eyes just look like, oh, super awake and bright. Yay! And after that, what I do is I take this concealer, which is by Artistry, and this is in the shade Medium, and I use this on any blemishes. You know, for example, these, this little colony of breakouts that I'm having right now because it's just, you know, that time of the month and my hormones are just like, woo, all over the place. So simply what I do is I just take my finger. So far, I've used my hands and my fingers to apply everything to my face. So we're just going to keep up with that. And I'm just going to tap this over top of any blemishes that I have. I found that tapping works a lot better than rubbing it in because I use a lot more concealer when I'm rubbing it in because half the product is like disappearing so I just I just tap it in like that and I absolutely love this concealer like this is like my all-time favorite concealer and I'm running out so hopefully I get more for Christmas I usually always get artistry products for Christmas so hopefully I get more concealer because the concealer is like my absolute favorite um, then I just take a little bit and I just rub it around my nose area to get rid of any redness or, um, you know, any visible um, zits, things like that. This is where it gets difficult with, like, make it, like, piercings and makeup are, like, not friends because you have to, like, maneuver it around and it just gets in the way and it just gets annoying and I... Ugh. It's a nuisance sometimes. So that is my face with my under eye concealer and my regular concealer. So as you can see, my face is starting to become a lot more flawless looking and nice and clear, which is what I like it. And now for my all time favorite part of makeup, which is foundation. Well, that's not my all time favorite part, but I really like applying foundation. And for that, I'm going to be using my absolute all time favorite foundation. Like, my holy grail, I've been using this for years, and I seriously don't ever plan on stopping. And that is my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. It just looks like that. And this is in the shade 005, which is natural beige. This is what I like. Um, this is like my summer shade foundation because it is a little bit darker than me. But I actually like to use it all year round, too, because it, I don't know. I just really, really like the way the color makes my skin and the way it makes my skin look. So I love this stuff. It's I highly, highly recommend it if you're looking for a new foundation definitely check out the Revlon photo ready because it's awesome I saw pink sparkles did a review for the primer the Revlon photo ready primer and I really really want to try that so hopefully someday I can try that and I need to go pick up more of this because I'm almost out so pretty much what I do is I just put um, a good squeeze like that amount on the cap um, I don't have like a little fancy dish or anything so I just use the cap so that's pretty much what the consistency of it looks like it's pretty runny and pretty light but it has really great coverage and to apply that I'm going to be using another one of my holy grail makeup products and this is also going to be kind of the start of the makeup brushes that I use and that is my uh, beauty blender. I absolutely love my beauty blender. You guys know that. I use it every single day. It doesn't matter what I'm applying to my face, whether it be a BB cream or a foundation, whatever. I use my beauty blender. It's a lifesaver. It is getting pretty beat up because I do use it so often, so I am going to have to get another one, but that's A-OK -okay with me because I love it so much. So what I do is I simply just take the foundation onto my finger and I just tap it in areas where I want it. So for instance, like here and on the forehead, I pretty much just go 
all over down to my neck as well. So now that I look like a, <laughs> a weirdo, pretty much what I do is I just start rubbing it in very just kind of all over with my finger at first. Like up in the forehead or on the temples, down the nose, put some on the eyes. I do that a little bit just so it's like spread out, um, just so it's like starting to like spread out a little bit. That's when I go in with my beauty blender and what the beauty blender does is it just spreads it all throughout the face a lot more evenly. It makes it, it just makes your face look really, really smooth. So I just literally go in with my beauty blender and then just do tapping motions like this. And sometimes I, sometimes this takes me between five to ten minutes because I really like that airbrushed kind of photoshopped looking finish on my face. Um, and the more you do this, the blend, the more blended it looks. So as you can see, it is a little bit too dark, um, like maybe one, one and a half shade um, darker than my actual skin tone. But that is okay with me because I really like it and it makes me look tanner than I am. Under the eyes. Those of you who are leaving a comment right now asking me um, if my piercings get in the way, uh, yes they do, but I will show you how I clean them off uh, when I'm done. So, I'm just going to keep tapping until I get the coverage that I want. And then also bringing it down to my neck. And I also, I like, <laughs> what I do to bring the foundation down to my neck is I kind of give myself like a double chin. You know what I mean? And just kind of like spread it down my neck like that. Like, I look absolutely ridiculous, but... <laughs> is what everything done after I get done blending with my beauty blender this is pretty much what my face looks like after everything is all blended in I do have a couple like dry spots on my nose obviously I missed when I put on my moisturizer but hey oh well it happens right so yeah that is pretty much what my face looks like with my foundation I just like I can't get over how awesome this stuff is I love my foundation it's so good I like I swear to god Revlon please don't ever get rid of your photo ready foundation because I will cry for ever like I love it so much so that is pretty much what I do for all of my liquid stuff then what I start to do is I just start to powder up and then I do my bronzer blush and highlight routine which I do have a separate video on if you do want to see that go ahead and check the description box and you will find it but the next thing I'm going to be doing is applying some powder and then I'm going to be showing you how I clean my piercings off so um, here is the powder that I'm using again another one of my holy grail powders it is the covergirl just what is this even called the covergirl professional loose powder and this is in the shade 115 it just looks like that as you can see it is a very very loose powder and this is just kind of like in a light shade so I love this stuff I think you can get it for around five dollars again at Dollar General but yes this is the powder that I always always use you guys always see me use this I really want to try the Rimmel London um this the matte the Stay Matte Prime, or not primer, the Stay Matte Powder, you know what I mean? Like, I, I swear you guys have heard of it before, and I just can't think of the name right now because I'm crazy. But I really want to try that powder as well, but until then, I will always be using this stuff right here. So I just pretty much shake a little bit down into the cap area. I'm making sure. And also, like, loose powder is super, super messy, so you have to be, like, really careful. And that's pretty much what it looks like. And I'm going to be using whatever is in the cap, so that stuff right there. Well, for powder, I use a series of different brushes. Sometimes I will use this really, really big fluffy brush right here um, that I just use to, like, powder my face, literally just pound it in. Um, this just came with a makeup brush set that I bought off of Amazon and it's just a huge fluffy brush. Sometimes I also use this one which is just another fluffy brush by Artistry. Really great for powder as well. Or another brush that I really like to use is this one by Sephora and this is the airbrush powder. 
and I think I'm gonna use this one today because I haven't used this in a while and I have like a lot of Sephora brushes for things like this but I never use them because they're Sephora and they're so soft like I don't ever want to ruin them but I think today I'm gonna be using this one and this just kind of I just kind of like pat into my face but I'll just go ahead and show you I don't even know why I'm talking about it when I'm just gonna be showing you I just take a little bit on the brush and I tap off as much access as I can because I don't want that shit to fall on my shirt. So after I do that, I literally just pat the powder into my face because I don't want to rub, you know, because I don't want to get any like awkward brush street street. Mm -hmm key with powder is to make your foundation stay in place all day is to lightly pat it on your face and not so much rub it. So just kind of pat. Like I do for my piercings is I take two q-tips like this these two ends are dry and then these two ends are wet and pretty much what I do is wherever I got like foundation or anything I take the wet side and I just clean off the balls and get any of the powder or foundation that might have stuck to them and then flip it over on the dry side and just dry them off just to make the balls nice and shiny so mainly like my septum um, my eyebrow and my nose Pretty much all of my facial piercings, I have to do this with. So yeah, that is how I clean off my piercings to get all of the powder and the foundation off. So yeah, that is what my foundation looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and do my bronzer and my blush and highlighter off camera because I already did do a video on that, like I said. So I just want to save some time. If you do want to see that, like I said, it'll be down in the description box for you guys, but I will be right back after I do that. Hey guys, so I'm back and I just finished my bronzer, my blush, my highlighter, and I also did my eyebrows. So in case any of you are wondering for bronzer, I used my all-time favorite NARS Laguna bronzer, two kinds who are and bronze my face a little bit. And then for my blush, I used, and my highlight technically, is I used my Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio. Just looks like that. It's just the blush and the highlighter. So it just gives a really nice color and also a little bit of a glow up top as well so those are everything that I use for my blush and my bronzer and then for my eyebrows I just use this NYC pencil in taupe and then to kind of fill them in and make them a little bit thicker is I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder and then to set that I use my elf eyebrow treat and tame and I use this side to kind of set my eyebrows and give them a little bit more of a darker color and this is in the color ash right here so that is everything I use to finish up my face I didn't finish up the rest of my makeup because I am going to be filming um, an eye look right now so I that's the reason why I don't have any lipstick or anything on my eyes but that's not the point of this video anyway the point of this video is to show you my foundation routine so here is the full and final complete product and um, this is pretty much what it looks like um, if you can see this is a close-up Really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up I would really greatly appreciate it and if you would like you can also share comment tell me what you guys think also be sure to subscribe to my channel for many more videos because I do upload quite frequently so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that but until then I will see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys